Thank you for joining me today. My name is Graham Peterson, and I am a senior in Marquette's Applied Investment Management Program covering domestic information technology. Today, I will be pitching Digital Turbine, ticker APPS, with a price target of $94.28 per share, representing an upside of 52.33%. Digital Turbine provides media and mobile communication products and solutions for mobile operators, application advertisers, publishers, device original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, and other third parties. Its application media software platform enables mobile operators and OEMs to control, manage, and monetize devices. The company also provides programmatic advertising and targeted media delivery services and other products and professional services directly related to the core platform. Apps operates in the United States and Canada, accounting for 61.8% of fiscal year 2020 revenue, Europe 17.2%, the Middle East and Africa 8.2%, the Asia Pacific and China 11.1%, Mexico, Central America and South America at 1.7%. The company was founded in 1998 and is headquartered in Austin, Texas. Digital Turbine operates globally leaving an on-device footprint on over 700 million devices with a monthly reach of 1.5 billion people. Mobile ad spending is estimated to reach $540 billion worldwide by 2025, creating a vast, growing total addressable market. In addition, recent acquisitions allow apps to tap into more considerable market opportunities to generate new recurring revenues as well as increase revenue per device. Over 35 mobile operators have used Digital Turbine's technology platform and device original equipment manufacturers, resulting in the delivery of over 5.3 billion application preloads for tens of thousands of advertising campaigns. Apps operate this business as a single operating and reportable segment called media distribution. This segment consists of products and services that make it easier for users to find and download mobile apps and other content media. Application media refers to the business segment where their platform distributes apps to end customers via carrier networks and OEMs. Through partnerships with carrier networks and OEMs, content media represents a business where the platform offers news, weather, sports, and other content directly within the native device experience, e.g. the start page in the mobile browser. Concerning customer revenue concentration, the firm defines a customer as an advertiser, or a carrier that is a distinct source of revenue and is legally bound to pay for the services that apps delivers on the advertiser's or carrier's behalf. During the fiscal year ended March 31st, 2021, no single customer represented more than 10% of net revenues. In the most recent quarter, revenue and gross profit, profit increased by 146% and 166%, respectively, driving more than 300% annual growth in EBITDA 278% in non-GAAP EPS, and 214% annual growth in free cash flow, demonstrating the model's inherently profitable operating leverage. Given the opportunity to increase their total addressable market and expand their business operations through acquisitions, it is recommended that apps be added to the AIM small cap fund with a price target of $94.28 per share, representing an upside of 52.33%. On to my drivers. My first driver is synergistic acquisitions. Over the past fiscal year, Apps has successfully completed four strategic acquisitions, including Mobile Posse, Ad Colony, Appreciate, and Fiber. Digital Turbine, Appreciate, Ad Colony, and Fiber operate organically and independently, yet they are generating incremental gains through cross-sell and upsell synergies. In addition to the organic triple-digit revenue growth, these acquisitions have already begun to produce inorganic revenue growth, growth of over 100% on a pro forma basis through higher margin revenue streams and expanding profit margins. With the continued successful integration of these operating segments, total fiscal year 21 revenues are estimated to surpass $1 billion, over 200% year-over-year growth, and profit margins are expected to increase 1% year-over-year over the forecasted. My second driver is growing on-device footprint. Apps recently signed a contract with Samsung to have their single-tap installs technology on all Samsung phone devices globally, which has historically been 250 million devices per year. These ongoing rollouts with international OEMs and operators, such as Samsung, Xiaomi, and Telefonica, will drive device growth. 
While their market share is expanding, they still only penetrate less than 20% of total global Android smartphones, which account for 70% of mobile phones. The acquisition of Appreciate is already generating significant returns by rapidly scaling their single-tap installs product revenue. Over the past 12 months, the speed of realizing $1 million in revenue has increased from three months to just one week. The third driver is diversified products. Diversifying the platform with the recent added products from the acquisitions enables apps to become a one-stop mobile growth and monetization platform. The acquisition of Mobile Posse adds to their core platform's ability to monetize user behaviors throughout a device's lifecycle by delivering media-rich advertising content to the end user and offering operators and OEMs additional revenue streams complementary to their core platform. These additional revenue streams can be categorized as first-day and recurring lifetime revenues. Their diverse platform of products increased recurring revenue to 70% of total revenues versus 38% a year ago. This figure is expected to increase year over year as their monetization model continues to expand. To reach an intrinsic value for Digital Turbine, a five-year DCF model was created. Using a terminal growth rate of 2.5% and a WAC of 9.47%, an intrinsic value of $99.28 per share was reached. A sensitivity analysis of plus minus 25 bips on the terminal growth rate and plus minus 50 bips on the WAC ranged from a low of $81.78 per share to a high of $123.38 per share. Furthermore, an EV to sales multiple valuation was calculated using a weighted average pure multiple of 5.81, resulting in a relative value of $64.45 per share. Finally, a price to earnings multiple valuation was calculated using a weighted average pure multiple of 54.54, resulting in an intrinsic value of $100.75 per share. By weighting these models 70%, 15%, 15%, a price target of $94.28 per share was reached, yielding an upside of 53.33%. Digital Turbine does not pay a dividend. My first risk is a rapidly evolving market. Rapid technological change, new features, solutions and strategies, evolving legal and regulatory requirements, changing client wants, and a competitive market describe the industry in which apps operates. Future success will be determined by their ability to develop and expand their products and services to respond quickly and effectively to market expansion. My second risk is the integration of recent acquisitions. The acquisition's success will be determined by their ability to realize the projected benefits of integrating all three businesses. For a variety of reasons, the acquisitions may fail to deliver the expected benefits. My final risk is the considerations due in the acquisitions. For the acquisition of Ad Colony and Fiber, apps must pay a minimum of $300 million by December 31st, 2021. Any failure to pay these considerations would have a material adverse effect on their financial condition and business. Bill Stone serves as the Chief Executive Officer and Director of Digital Turbine. Stone has over 20 years of experience in carrier relations, wireless, content, media, technology, marketing, and distribution. Before joining Digital Turbine, Stone held executive positions at Qualcomm, Verizon, and Vodafone. Christine Collins serves as the Chief Technology Officer, and Barrett Garrison serves as the Chief Financial Officer. I would like to thank everyone for listening to my presentation today, and I look forward to answering your questions during the Q&A.